Hi, I'm Ryan from Ratings.com. Today we'll be doing a review of the LG 34 GP 950B. We'll be evaluating it on our standardized test bench to see how it performs and if you should buy it. This monitor is part of LG's 2021 Ultra Gear Gaming Monitor lineup. It features a 3440 by 1440p ultra-wide resolution, an impressive refresh rate for the resolution of 180Hz, as well as native G-Sync support. The 34GP950 also boasts a VESA Display HDR600 certification and fast nano IPS panel. This panel has great color and viewing angles, but it does come at the cost of contrast, all of which we'll talk about in the review. The LG 34GP950B looks very similar to most of LG's Ultra Gear gaming lineup. It has a sleek design from the front with a slight 1900R curve. The back of the monitor features a ring of RGB bias lighting, which can be controlled through a wheel on the underside of the monitor or through your PC using LG's Ultra Gear Control Center. The stand supports the monitor well and keeps the large screen stable, but it is quite deep, so you'll want to make sure you'll have enough desk space. It also has a standard 100x100 100 100 base amount on the back if you prefer using a monitor arm. There's a pretty standard range of inputs with an HDMI 2.0 port and a display port. You should definitely connect via DisplayPort, as via HDMI the refresh rate is limited to 85Hz. The 34GP950 also features a built-in USB hub with two USB ports. Now, let's take a look at the tests. We'll start with the contrast. A high contrast ratio is important if you use the monitor in the dark, for deep dark scenes. This monitor has a disappointing contrast ratio that's typical for nano IPS panels. It will make blacks appear grayer, especially in a dark room. Local dimming is a feature that controls the brightness of individual zones of the backlight. This allows for much deeper dark scenes in things like video games as the area of dark objects can be further darkened. As a result, the overall contrast can be boosted. The 34GP950B has an edge-lit local dimming with 56 zones. That's quite a bit more than most edge-lit monitors with local dimming, but it still falls short of monitors with a full-array mini LED backlight like the Samsung Neo G9. The local dimming performs better than most other edge-lit monitors we've tested, but it's still more distracting than it is helpful. It does very little to improve the contrast, though it does boost the brightness in brighter scenes. Now, a high peak brightness is important, either in a bright room to counteract glare, or if you want brighter highlights and a more impactful image, especially in high dynamic range or HDR games. This monitor has good brightness in SDR, more than enough to combat glare in bright or moderately lit rooms. When playing high dynamic range games, the local dimming feature also helps to boost bright highlights, comfortably achieving the brightness required for the Display HDR600 certification, which is excellent. Also important for a bright room is good reflection handling. The 34GP950 has a hazy screen coating that helps to diffuse reflections and reduce their intensity. The reflection handling is okay, and combined with the high brightness, overall, bright room shouldn't be an issue at all. A potential downside of a hazy coating is if it makes small details like text appear grainy. Text clarity is also impacted by a bunch of factors though, like the subpixel arrangement. Overall, it's good as you can see in these images. The screen coating doesn't have much of an impact. The top photo is with Windows clear type, which helps diagonal lines look clearer. Without clear type in the bottom image, it's all right, but does lack some subpixel detail. Good viewing angles are important to ensure details at the far sides of the screens don't look washed out. On this monitor, the horizontal angles are slightly less important though, due to the minor curve. As the sides of the screen are tilted towards you, the angles are reduced. Even without the curve, the horizontal viewing angles are adequate. There is no vertical curve though, but the viewing angles are decent, so this shouldn't really be an issue. An overall uniform screen brightness and color is important when playing video games to avoid distracting areas that are overly dark or bright. This does vary between units, but we expect the unit we bought to be about typical. The overall screen has a very similar brightness, which is great and shouldn't be bothersome. In dark scenes, there is some clouding throughout and a bit of backlight bleed from the corners, but it's not too bad. With local dimming enabled, the uniformity gets quite a bit worse since there's a big difference in black level between the zones that are on compared to the zones that are off, as you can see in this photo. Accuracy in the standard sRGB color space is important as it's the standard for computer use. This monitor has a specific sRGB color mode, which is great as it clamps the colors for accuracy and to avoid an oversaturated image. It does come with a factory calibration report, so as expected, the accuracy in this mode is great. Do note that enabling the sRGB mode does lock you out of most picture settings except brightness. If you want to take full advantage of this monitor and display vivid colors in things like high dynamic range or HDR games, then the 34GP950 is a great choice. It has amazing coverage of the widely used DCI-P3 color space with excellent tone mapping. A high refresh rate is important for gaming. It allows the image to be drawn on the screen faster, which makes it more responsive. And if the monitor supports variable refresh rates, then you can get a smooth experience without tearing regardless of the changing frame rate. 
This monitor has a native 144Hz refresh rate that can be overclocked to 180Hz using the on-screen display. The 34GP950B is also certified by NVIDIA as G-Sync Ultimate, which means it has a native G-Sync processor built in. Paired with an NVIDIA graphics card, you can expect a tear-free gaming experience across the whole refresh rate range. The monitor is also compatible with AMD's FreeSync, but only over DisplayPort. When playing video games, a fast response time is important for the clearest image without distracting blur. The 34GP950 has outstanding response times at its max refresh rate. We recommend the normal overdrive setting since it has very fast transition speeds with no overshoot. If the frame rate drops when you are gaming, then luckily the response time is still great. Thanks to the G-Sync processor, the 34GP950 has variable overdrive and the performance of the different overdrive modes has been tuned to give a consistent experience across the refresh rate range. So, in this case, you can just set the overdrive to normal and not have to worry about changing it depending on the game you're playing. If you really want the clearest image when playing fast-paced games, then black frame insertion or backlight strobing features are useful to reduce blur caused by the persistence of the image during a full frame. Unfortunately, the 34GP950B does not have a black frame insertion feature. Now, a low input lag is really important for a responsive feel when playing video games, and unsurprisingly, this monitor is excellent. You shouldn't experience any noticeable input lag at its max refresh rate or at lower frame rates. So, this brings up the main question. Should you buy this monitor? Well, firstly, it's definitely an excellent monitor. Between the high refresh rate, 21 by 9 aspect ratio, high brightness, great color gamut, and excellent response times, you really can't go wrong. It's probably not worth the price premium if your PC has a Radeon graphics card, since you'll lose out on the extra compatibility offered by the G-Sync processor. If you're looking for a monitor with better darkroom performance in a similar form factor, then check out the Asus Tough Gaming VG34 VQL1B, which has a much higher contrast ratio thanks to its VA panel. This does come at the cost of worse viewing angles and slower response times. Other than that, their performance is fairly similar, with the Tough having a slightly lower frame rate. If you're looking for an even bigger and brighter screen, then consider either the LG 38GN950B or the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. The LG offers very similar performance but with a higher resolution and higher brightness. The Samsung, on the other hand, has a much higher contrast ratio, a much better local dimming feature, and an even wider aspect ratio, so it's a better choice for darkroom performance. Both do come at a costly premium, though. Lastly, if you're looking for a more affordable alternative, then consider the LG 34GP83AB. It has very similar SDR performance, but it is less bright and the HDR won't be as impressive as on the 34GP950. It also doesn't include the G-Sync module.